Breaking news. Nigerians attack Festus Keyamu. So you see, my wonderful people, is Festus Keyamu again. Nigerians have attacked him. What did he say? He says, parents should beg lecturers that, um, you know, they should call off the ASU strike and children and students should go back to school. Their children should go back to school. Excuse me, guys. I'm a big advocate for learning. Okay. And it is right that, you know, we, all, we allow the educational system to be at its best. I'm not happy that Nigerian students at home. And if, if you've heard us spoken, you will know that we are unhappy with the current situation because it's drawing our academic, you know, um, you know, uh, credibility down. And so, which is going to be saying that these parents should beg Asu. But are you listening to yourself, Festus? Because the, the Buhari, you want, you said the government have no money, but Buhari is gifting money that is less than what Asu need. What's the priority? Let's get all the details. Ah, parents, so should beg the lecturers. Nigerian government have no money to meet Asu's demand so that students can go back to school. But it's forgetting that Buhari gave Afghanistan one million dollar. He gave Niger Republic 1.4 billion naira. Ah, hey, my dear, I don't understand witchcraft. Oh, no. Mr. Akeyamu says the federal government would not borrow money to meet the demands of the strike, but they can borrow money to give to Niger and do rate to meet to Niger. The Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Keyamu, has said the federal government has no money to meet the demand of the strike of the Academic Union of University Lecturers. Mr. Keyamu, newly, newly appointed as spokesman for the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, for the 2023 election, asked parents to beg ASU members to return to classes because the federal government would not borrow money to meet the demands of the lecturers. He said this on Friday during an interview on Politics Today, a program on China's television. Mr. Festus Keyamu was there defending Tinubu, that Tinubu will run the same template Buhari has run and said Buhari's government has done well and APC is very proud. Hence, they are bringing out Tinubu that Nigerians should support. Mr. Keyamu said the meeting also had with the Mini Begs community, uh, com committee would we are done without the input from the Minister of Finance and other agencies with role to play in the implementation of the recommendation. The Minister said the federal government could not meet the finance implication of the Begri Committee, hence the need for fresh negotiations. He described the proposals in the Begri Committee reports as unrealistic, adding that other unions in the educational sector are also opposed to the content of the report. At a point, we set up the Mini Beggars Committee to receive the complaints of ASU and look into how the report should be accommodated within the framework of the finance of the government. When the committee began to sit with ASU, they were critical institutions of Nigeria that we are supposed to be in those meetings. The National Salaries, Income and Wages Commission Budget Office of the Federal Heads of Service, Minister of Finance, ASU at the time rejected these agencies from sitting with them. How can you sit with the minister? How can you sit down with the Minister of Finance without those of the posts of the government, without those who know how people are paid? That was what ASU did with the committee. They sat down and fixed their own salaries with the Minister of Finance without other critical stakeholders. This first us, Keyamu, that is speaking. Listen. Okay, let's finish the news, okay? Mr. Kayamu said that he he is willing to beg on air if they would listen and play to to lecturers to return to school. The proposed ASU is the proposal ASU is talking about is 1.2 trillion. I would tell parents go and beg ASU, like the president said. Those who know them should appeal to their sense of patriotism. That Buhari will not pay a penny. Can you listen? Is that not a threat? Do you want me to kneel down and beg us on the air as a parent also? His own children are not schooling in Nigeria. Go and investigate. There is an interrupted educational system for his own children. You see, Nigerians say we like to lie to ourselves. Hmm? 
and because they are they are they are rooting for Buhari, they feel the other person has no sense. Now, so I go feel put on. So the other person not get sense, it's not the reason, it not get sense at all. Because you know how many millions, I mean, that they are stealing, okay, allegedly. How many millions is going? Look at what is happening. Then they will not give them less than that to build themselves. And yet, the real people that need the money to carry out legitimate business are, the, are distracted or not paid attention to. And they are telling us now again, for those who have ear, let them hear for those who have ear, let them hear. That's, you see this Tinubu, he will carry out the same template. His words, not mine, no. and God sees my heart. I'm not castigating anyone, okay? Trying to make one look good, trying to make the other one look, look bad. No, that's not the point, no. He said it, the same, uh, you know, interview he had, that Tinubu, okay, Tinubu will run the same template, the same without any any cause for alteration like Buhari, he will run it unhindered. The same template is what Tinubu will run. And so if Nigerians have seen Buhari's administration, they should get ready for a mirror image. This is a continuation of Buhari. That's what he said, not mine. And I'm not trying to, like I said, I'm, you know, trying to, I'm not trying to tell you something else. Now, there are some people out there who will say, Madam, what do you mean? Eh, you hate Tinubu. I don't hate him. Oh. I don't. Oh. I don't. Mm -hmm. No, no, these are people who want to rule Nigeria. We have to be careful in our decision making because at the end of the day, we will live with either we will enjoy or we will suffer the consequences of the decisions we have taken. 2015, we made that decision. Today, we are living testimony of the error we made. Do, do, you, do you continue with the same strategy and you're expecting a different result? Excuse me. And you are going round the roundabout and you say you're going to a destination. You don't have a destination. Your destination is round and round and round the circle. You're going nowhere. So this is what he has said. Now, like I earlier reiterated to you, we don't only have Tinubu. We don't only have... Um, Professor, yeah, we don't only have a, a Mr. Uh, we don't only have Mr. Peter Obi. We don't only have Atiku. We don't only have Konkoso. There are other people out there who can be Nigerians' president. Okay, from these people that we have, it's not left for us to choose. We have Tinubu. We have Atiku. We have uh, 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 Peter Obi. We have Konkoso, and we have other people from a, a large spectrum for us to choose from. But they are filling our minds with rubbish. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.